It's time to stay inspired by another inspirational South African woman who in 2009 was asked by UCT to give a beading class to a group of uh, female engineers. And today she's on Expresso. Again, it's her second time visiting us, showing us how to get creative with beads. Rachel Peary, welcome back to Expresso. Always nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Lisa. Now today, what are you teaching us to make? Okay, today what we're making is a coral shell bracelet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teach like you... Like the one you're wearing. Actually, hold it up so everyone can see. Look. Okay. How beautiful is that? Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, we have a selection of shells mm -hmm. and I've laid it out for you here. These ones here, mm -hmm. alternating shapes and everything. You like the colors? Everything? I love the colors. Okay, good. So the next thing we're going to do is going to put the silver spaces after every third bead. Okay. There we go. There we go. So as to yeah to make it stand. When you... So now what we have is like a transparent stretch thread. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do one line at a time, you're going to thread you through because there's like little drill holes inside here. Okay, so there's little holes on the inside of your beads, of yeah? every bead, yeah. And then put it through. Put it through, put it through as, as it is laid out. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the spacer, you use one here. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, you, you thread it through the last hole of the spacer here. Okay. Okay, so this one goes here. Okay, so what do I do? Do I do a line at a time yes, or do I do two? Yes, do a line. So you start with that blue one. Okay. Next oh, is the green okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we work our way right through the first line and the second line, and the spacers is what's going to hold both the lines together and keep the bead, the bracelet, as one. Now, for people that are tuning in for the first time and seeing you on Expresso for the first time, please share your journey with us on how you started beading. Okay, I first started from college. I did a diploma in marketing. Mm -hmm. And then when, while I was at home waiting to see what I can do, I started making some clothes for friends here and there. It grew into a business. And then just for an extra little something, I did some jewelry to go with the outfits with it. And then as time went on, orders for the jewelry became more than <laughs> orders for the clothes. And then I just decided, you know, just to do jewelry full time. Mm. And then last year, I did a course on jewellery, professional jewellery designing by Ruth Prose. And then, here I am. You have, you've started your own business, you run your, your jewellery making, your jewellery yes. design uh -huh. offices in Woodstock. Yes, 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 it's in Woodstock. And I do like weekend markets, craft markets here and there. I sell from home, I sell from, you know, from word of mouth. Mm -hmm. there, yeah. That's where it is. Listen, this is actually quite easy. I know I struggled the last time we were actually laughing <laughs> off camera because I don't have a creative bone in my body. Uh, but this no, is actually quite do, easy. No, you're doing really well. So this is actually quite nice. So you can start over this one. I'll finish uh -huh. this one up for you. See, that's why I need your help, Rachel. And uh, for women who want to start their own businesses, mm -hmm. is it as easy as it looks? No. Uh -huh. It's not easy, but it's fun. <laughs> you know, fun. It's not easy, but it's fun. That's because, what matters. Yeah, there's nothing more, much more than the sense of achievement you get from doing something you love and doing it well mm -hmm. and having people appreciate it. And so when you see people wearing your jewellery. Oh, that is the ultimate. Mm. It is such a compliment. It gets, you know, it really encourages me to keep doing it and it shows me that I'm, I'm in the right field and I'm on the right track. Especially like when you sell something to somebody at the market and you said you're on a bag, they'll be like, no, no, I'm going to wear it straight away. That is the <laughs> best thing ever <laughs> that ever happens. Look, so I'm really, really proud of myself here. Yeah. I could wow, come and this assist is a way you. to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Then you're going to. There we go. Let me finish here. Just recap again uh, for anyone that <laughs> has missed the beginning. What do we need and what do we need to do? Okay, what we need is like a selection of shells, mm -hmm. coral shells, anything. As you can see here, we use the smooth ones. But then you can use like any that you find that you like. You mix any colors, the round ones, the square ones, the textured ones. And then the next thing you need is like silver spaces. These ones here. I don't think there's a hole to in this hold one. those ones. Okay, let me just give you one here. Okay. There we go. And you need the uh, you need the stretchy. You need looks the like stretchy fish wire. elastic. Yeah, it looks like fish wire, but then mm. this one is actually quite stretchy, so that you know it's like kind of like a one size fits all bracelet. And there then yeah, Rachel, cool. I'm gonna finish this off. Yes. There we go. Wow, so pleasant. look how easy that is. I did it in four minutes. I made my own bracelet. I know cool. you're gonna finish it all for me by adding the extra little pieces. Yes, I'm to gonna it. tie it up for you and put some glue and then and the end you're gonna like have this. something like that. This is what it will look like. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us on Expresso.
We're now going over to Robbie Vessels, who's got a bit of a treat for us, something you haven't seen anywhere in South Africa before. You're seeing it for the first time here on Expresso. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.